another earnings load for you. I want to highlight Angie again, the merge entity of Angie's List and Home Advisor. You've probably used it if you had to look for a handy person to do work on the house. Shares are down over 4% after they reported earnings. Earnings clocking in at $461.6 million for the quarter for a loss of three cents on the bottom line. So for more on this conversation, let's bring in the CEO of that company, Oshin Hanrahan, who is the CEO over there. It's great to have you on the program. Uh, we also want to join in uh, Yahoo Finance's Brian Sazi, who's been covering this space as well. And Oshin, a lot of drivers for your business, I imagine there's been a lot of stories about the hot housing market, right? People doing a lot of work also at home uh, through the pandemic just because they were bored. Did you see those catalysts sticking around in the third quarter? Yeah, so we got a lot going on. I'm very happy with how the quarter closed out, uh, up uh, up 18% year on year. And the real the real interesting thing going on there, exactly as you pointed out, there's real still pent up consumer demand. So we got two businesses. We got our ads and leads business, uh, where you know we've got a lot of pros that still have full order books. That business, uh, that business, obviously definitely impacted by the pandemic. And then we've got our Angie Services business where we deliver that, that, that service directly to the homeowner, where, uh, where that business is up 160% year on year uh, to 170, or $117 million for the quarter. Uh, that's a really strong growth that we're seeing out of that business. And what we, what we continue to expect is more and more people turning to Angie Services as they need to get work done inside their home. And we expect that trend to, to really continue. Uh, as you think about the other things going on inside earnings, we've really invested in the homeowner experience, really invested in the pro experience to make sure that they have access to payments, access to financing, and more recently, access to Angie's key membership program as well, so they can get the best value when they're taking care of their home. Are you able to measure uh, the impact in the quarter from, from labor shortages and, and even material shortages for those folks on the, on the platform? Yeah, so the, the, there is a real impact, particularly in our ads and leads business, where pros are, uh, are definitely affected by all the things we've read about and we've heard about, the, the supply shortages, uh, the ports being clogged up, particularly in California, that affects tools, it affects materials, it affects supplies. Uh, and then the other shortage that's impacting people is, is the labor shortage. So the fact that you know, the vast majority of our pros are, are struggling, to hire, uh, struggling to hire more people to, to grow their businesses. And a surprising part of all that is despite everything going on there, we've got 160% growth in our, in our Angie services business. It just speaks to the amazing product market fit that we can add so much pro capacity in that business despite, of, despite all the shortages that we've got, despite everything going on. It, it, it's just a, an incredible testament to the team uh, and to the product market fit of Angie services that it can continue to grow at you know, more than double year over year uh, when we're in the midst of this, uh, of this particularly challenging time. Uh, obviously around labor shortages and, and, and actual supply shortages as well. Can you give us a view of what segments are particularly hot right now, at least as of the third quarter or maybe leading into the next quarter? You do have that roofing business that you acquired on in, in July. Is that pretty hot right now? I mean, obviously there's handymen, there's plumbers, there's all different types of services available on the platform, but what right now is truly hot? Yeah, so roofing is definitely an important category for us. Roofing is a $50 billion category in the U.S. We have 2 million service requests a year come through Angie for roofing, $10,000 order price. Uh, and we're really excited about the growth we're seeing in roofing. We launched three new markets for our roofing business um, in Q3. We'll launch two more new markets in Q4. And I expect uh, early next year, you'll, 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 you'll see us uh, you'll see us play off that confidence that we hope to gain in Q4 and launch a bunch more, uh, a bunch more markets in roofing. So roofing is definitely an important category. And then you got a bunch of seasonal stuff going on. So as people think about, uh, as people think about the holidays, they're definitely getting their homes ready, getting rooms painted, getting, uh, getting things you know completed for the holidays. And you know there's the, the 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 classic of holiday lights, which you know doesn't sound like a big business, but uh, there will be a lot of people this year who'll be. Uh, you know, staying at home and really entertaining for the first time in a while in their home and really want to invest in uh, invest in having a very special experience in their home. So we expect to see 
very significant business in, uh, in holiday and Christmas lights this year as well. So all of that is the, you know, the seasonal stuff. And then you got to remember about 60 plus percent of our tasks, the, the things we service in people's homes, they're essential tasks. So it's just affected by the more people stay at home. We, we do see reports that say more and more people are just spending ever more time at home, even though, you know, their offices have reopened uh, and, and that just puts pressure on the home. So it's essential tasks like, HVAC maintenance, plumbing, and electrical, and all the things that just go into keeping a home running every single day. The, the more time you spend at home, the more stuff's going to break. Yeah, that much is for sure. I've broken a lot of stuff uh, over the past year and a half. Uh, Zillow said this week they're selling billions of dollars worth of uh, homes as they pivot their model. Is that a tailwind for your business in any way? Look, as we think about like the the, the drivers of people spending on their home, it's uh, it, it's the, just the raw spendability. So, you know, health of the consumer is definitely a driver in terms of how much people are spending on their home. Second is home size. So, you know, one of the trends we've seen in the pandemic is people buying bigger and people living further away. So those two things go hand in hand. So people are definitely living in more square feet than before, as they think about, you know, almost this transition of having some of their, their workspace be at home means that they got to have more space at home. So it's almost like this quasi commercial space, you know, for your home office that you've built inside your residential space that you're taking care of as a, as a homeowner. So that trend is super interesting and very important. Uh, and, and then the other thing is the, the shortage in the, in the supply chain is the shortage in the housing stock has pushed people into older homes. So this trend towards buying bigger, further away and older has all lent to, uh, to, to people needing to, to invest in the core infrastructure of their home. You know, typically first time buyers buy starter homes, because that, that that inventory has been so tight, we've seen first-time buyers buy more homes that need more work. And older homes where they thought they were buying into, you know, a home that might just need cosmetic work, it actually needs uh, it actually needs infrastructure work. So the core utilities of water, electricity, sewage, gas, all might need uh, might need core work done in the home. So those are the three big things that we see. It's bigger, it's older, it's further away, and that's driving an increase in uh, in demand for home services. Yeah, and all those first-time homeowners are going to be also more likely to probably want to seek help when they do some of those repairs and changes. But uh, Oshin Hanrahan, Angie CEO, thanks again for breaking down uh, your earnings on our show today. We'll have you on again soon.